Okay, so now we have our basic HTML structure. Let's go ahead and add some more HTML elements and create a, a standard web page layout that consists of a header, sidebar, and footer. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead and add my table. Let's give it a width of seven fifty three seven fifty three height let's make it mm, seven thirty okay let's come down here and put a closing table tag let's insert a table row so we have we created our table by with the table with the opening table and with the width 753 height 730 and the closing table tag and down here we created our table now we're gonna create a table row TR for table row okay and we're gonna come here and close out the table row in between the table row, we're going to put a table header, and that's for TH, table header. We're going to give it a height, let's say 97, okay, call span equals 2, okay, let's make the the color, the background color, let's make it red. Okay, that's going to be our header. And it's going to say, Welcome to my first web page. Okay, and then we're going to close out, close it out. Okay. So this is essentially our header right here. We're going to come down here. We're going to add another table row. Okay. This time we're going to do a V, v align. The V align is going to tell the web browser to align our text or our content uh, up on top. And that's Feel line top. Okay, we're going to close. We're going to put our table header, th, and then width, let's say 21%. Okay. Height, let's say mm, 5. 41. Okay, PG, PG color, background color equals, let's make it yellow. And that's going to be our sidebar, side column. Let's create a paragraph here. Paragraph is designated by a P and a closing P tag. Let's say menu P. Okay, we're gonna add a list. This is basically we, we, we are creating right here um, a sidebar with examples of a menu on the sidebar, and then we're gonna add some items under the menu. Okay, so we're gonna put that in what's called a list. And to create a list, we're going to use the UL tag. And then under that, we're going to use the LI tag. And then add our list. We're going to add some linkage to our, to our list. Okay, let's say so we're gonna create you know we're gonna come and say a f 
this first item on the list will go to google.com google.com and then we're going to call it item 1 well just call it Google okay and then we're going to close it out and then close out the list second one I can just come here and basically copy and paste and then replace the items between them let's do this faster okay come here and change this to Microsoft Microsoft let's say my website bobsonconsulting.com say Bobson consulting let's say Yahoo yahoo.com say Yahoo let's say mm, Facebook and change this to Facebook okay and now we have our list and then we close with the closing UL tag okay and we also close the th the table header with the th tag okay scroll down let's create okay so that's our side column uh, we already created our header up here you know with this row uh, and in between we have our table header so this is the header right here and then we came down here we added another uh, table row and in between it we added another another table header um, uh, we increased the height and then we put the width at, at 21 percent so now it looks like a column and with this column we added some list we added some um, uh, basically links uh, you know a menu and it you know it's 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 um, it's designated as a list and then you you will you will be able to click on let's say Google and go to go to google.com uh, click on Microsoft and go to microsoft.com click on Bob's and consulting and go to my website and click on Yahoo and go to yahoo.com and Facebook and go to facebook.com so we created uh, a menu on the side and assigned some links to it CTH okay so we're gonna come here TH with equals 79 percent height 541 let's say gray this will be our content area where we can place our content and we're going to designate this line equals left It's a content go here. Then 
close it out, ch. Okay. Come here, TH. Let's make it blue. This is the footer. Okay. Okay. All right. So we basically added our table we added a header, a sidebar, a footer, and, an, and a content area. So let's save this page and see how it renders within our web browser. And there you go. Okay, and this is what it looks like within our web browser. Let's go back. Did I tell this to be, let's see, the side, yellow. I misspelled yellow, so that's why that's black there, the sidebar. Let's refresh. Okay, and there you go. Okay. So, This is what this code here, this HTML code here, all of this HTML code, this is what it renders when you open it up, when you open it up in a web browser such as Firefox. Okay? Okay. And this is basically, this is a basic web page layout. Uh, it consists of a header. It consists of a sidebar, some menus, some menu items, um, a content area, and a footer. This is a standard layout for a lot of web pages you will see on the internet today. Okay. So this is how this looks when this is how it looks when you create uh, web pages in a program like Notepad. Um, it basically doesn't provide you any help. Uh, there's there are no drag and drop. Uh, uh, components you can put into Notepad like you can into, let's say, Adobe Dreamweaver and other similar programs. So we're going to try to recreate this web page in Adobe Dreamweaver and see the difference between creating it in Adobe Dreamweaver and creating it in, creating it in um, um, a text editor like Notepad. Okay? So let's open up Adobe Dreamweaver and let's continue.